Housing benefit helps many people on low incomes and many wouldn't be able to manage without it. Sadly, however, there are many people who claim when they're not entitled to. These people can make fraudulent claims in a number of ways. Sometimes they withhold or exaggerate information. Sometimes they forget to tell us about changes in their circumstances. They overlook minor things that, if known, would make a huge difference to their entitlement. And sometimes they set out to deliberately commit an act of fraud. Take Mr. Smith. He recently started a job as a plumber, but he hasn't told us. And he still claims the same amount of housing benefit as when he was unemployed. Or well, what about this woman and her two children? She rents a property and claims housing benefit, but she lives with her boyfriend, and he is her landlord and the father of one of her kids. Or there's this man. He doesn't live here, or here, or here. In fact, no one does. But he claims housing benefit for all three addresses, using different false identities. But it's all right, isn't it? After all, there's no victim as such, is there? Is there? Well, actually, there is. You. Benefit fraud may be viewed as a victimless crime, but the actions of benefit cheats affects every man, woman and child in this country. By claiming when they're not entitled to, benefit cheats may as well be stealing vital beds from your local hospital. Or desks from your child's classroom. Or even useful resources from your public library. It is estimated that benefit fraud costs the country 900 million pounds per year, a staggering amount of money. Let's put that into context. Benefit cheats are stealing the equivalent of 36 pounds from every household in the country. And that's enough to pay for nearly 13,000 doctors, more than 20,000 police officers, or 23,000 teachers. Typical examples of housing benefit fraud include people who are working but do not declare this when they claim benefit. People who claim as a single person, but actually live with a partner. People who claim from an address, but don't live there. And people who do not declare their full financial position or any change in their circumstances when they make a claim. We all have a moral responsibility to report benefit fraud. Local government employees have a duty to do so. To really protect our hospitals, schools and services, we need your help. If you suspect someone is claiming benefits they're not entitled to, please call the Benefit Fraud Hotline. All information received is treated in total confidence. Benefit cheats are stealing from you. Don't let the cheats benefit. <laughs>